Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today's tutorial is gonna be a very simple, nice and clean tutorial, basically for beginners. So in today's video, we will be creating a nice clean title animation inside After Effects using some very simple steps. This tutorial is inspired from a video hive author called Quadro. He has created a lower third title animation pack and it was absolutely amazing. So if you guys want to purchase the complete template which consists of I guess around 32 title animations. So I'll mention the link down in the description. So make sure to check it out. So if you are a beginner, if you are very new to After Effects, then this tutorial is going to be just perfect for you because I will be going over through every simple steps and I'll try to explain at my fullest potential. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Ninety twenty by ten eighty thirty FPS ten seconds should be good. Hit OK. Then let's select the text tool and type in the text that you want. You can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in the name just just like we used in the example. That is John. Let's increase the size to around. I'll go with one fifty pixels. There we go and align it into the center just like so. Now if you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and there you will find it. Just click on this icon. Let's select it and hit control D to duplicate it. Hold shift and drag it just like that and type in the surname that is senders. So now we have our first name and our last name. I'll make this a bit thin font. So I'll go with a uh, nice maybe italic one actually it is italic so I'll go with the Sugo and by the way I'm using the Sugo Pro Classic trial you can of course use any font that you like but I think with this animation this font goes in really well so I'm using that go with actually a light italic maybe extra light italic yep that looks much better let's pull this a bit closer there we have it you can turn on the title action safe just so that you can align it precisely into the center just like so. Okay. Then I can select the John text, hit control D to duplicate it. I'll add the resignation, which is motion designer. So I'll type in motion designer. And for the font, I'll go with italic. Yep, that looks Good for this. Let's make this nice and small, maybe around 50 pixels. There we go. Let's place it into the position that we want. I think it's a bit too small. I'll go with 60 pixels. Yep, that looks much better. And place it in this position just like so. Yeah, so that is looking great. Now I'll put this back below and let's change the colors or of this to text to a different color so we can see it more properly and then on to our first text let's add a gradient ram so i'm going to add a ram to this and by the way if you don't know i'm using the fx console script from video video copilot which is an absolutely free after effects script so if you don't have the script you can easily go into windows effects and preset and there you can type in gradient ram and it's going to take a few seconds to load up and then you can type in ramp so you can see the gradient ramp and you can just drag and drop it onto the text. So for now, I'm just going to close it, select the gradient ramp and bring this point closer. Just like so, then you can change it to any color that you like. I'm going to go with something like this one. And for this, I'll go with a nice blue color as you can see right over here you're a bit light there we go looking pretty good let's select the gradient ramp so hit control c and paste it onto our third text that is motion designer so control v and then bring down the points just like so 
and there we have a nice text ready to roll i'll bring this a bit closer i think that looks much better now let's create a new null object pull this here and then select this two text that is senders and motion designer and parent this to this null object so now we can select the null object and move it so that you can see both of the text are linked to this null so we can animate them easily now if you don't see this parent option you can go right over here right click columns and check the parent and link option okay let's hide this we don't need to see it i'll go to two seconds and then select the pen tool and create a shape so let's bring down the stroke to zero we don't need any stroke we just need the fill let's set this to white and then what i can do is create a shape just like that very randomly and now i can adjust this precisely so now we have a shape which looks something like this and then let's call this m for mat bring this on the top of the senders text hit f4 to switch the panels and change the track mat of senders to alpha mat then select the mat hit control d to duplicate it bring this on the top of the motion designer text and set this to alpha mat now if i select the null object and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go at the very beginning and then i can animate the position just like so let's pull this all the way out and now we have this very nice and simple animation so i'll select the mat again hit control d to duplicate this bring this on the top of the john text and this time i'm going to select the john text and change the track mat to alpha inverted mat now select the john text hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back in time and let's drag this holding shift just like so to the right now if you guys think i'm going a bit fast then just you know go back to the video go back to where you don't understand it and rewatch it take your time don't rush so now we have this very nice and simple animation let's select all the layers and hit u on the keyboard to see all the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 to ease ease the keyframes and then go into this graph editor now if your graph editor doesn't look like this then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph I'm going to select this point and drag the handle to the left just like so. So now we have this very nice title animation. Now let's go ahead and create the stroke that we see in between both of the text. So I'm going to hit select all the layers by hitting control A on the keyboard, hit U to close them up. And I can select the pen tool now. We need the stroke of around 10 pixels. So I'm going to type in 10. We don't need any fills so let's set this to none and then I can select the pen tool and create a shape and then I can select the pen tool select the shape create a shape holding shift I'm gonna hold shift click click and click just like that make sure you're holding shift at the same time and then I can select this point and try to line up with this end so just like that then select both of them and use the arrow keys to bring it to the left just like that and then I can hit V select this point and bring them down using the arrow keys just like so same with this one maybe I'll bring them a bit closer so that is looking pretty good let's select the gradient ramp from the John text hit control C and paste it onto a stroke let's rename this layer to stroke also I can see it's not properly aligned so I can select the shape and then go into the path and then I can select this point and try to align this there we go this is looking much better then I can add a trim path to this and animate this so let's go into trim paths bring this to zero go at the very beginning create a keyframe on the end property go to one second set this to 100 create a keyframe on the start property go to two seconds and set this to 100 now what i can do is i can select the start property keyframe and drag them just like so then select this two keyframes and drag it to two seconds 
So now we have something like that, but it's not looking that great. So we need to play around a bit with the keyframes. So I'm going to bring them a bit closer and increase the distance between them just like so. Now I want when the stroke is right over here, that time I want my text to start coming out of the shapes. So what I can do is first of all, select all the keyframes, hit F9 to ease it, go into the graph editor, select this two and hold shift and drag the handle a bit to the left just a little. So we have a very nice animation. And then I'll try to align the text. So somewhere around there, I think select all the text properties and bring them just a bit forward in time and now we have this very simple animation but i think it's not yet that proper so again i can select this so somewhere around there yep so now we have this very nice and simple animation also make sure to turn on motion blur so hit f4 on the keyboard turn on motion blur to get a very nice and realistic look you can see this is looking very cool yep that is looking very nice and one more thing that you can do is select the stroke hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit and then hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and make it something like that Let's see if we can make that possible. So minus 100 and place it into the position that we want. And then I can go into the properties of the contents, shape and path, select it and drag the point just like so. And now we should have a very interesting animation. Yep, as you can see, this looks very cool and interesting. You can go, if you want, you can go with just one stroke, but I think this is pretty cool. You can also displace one another, one another. So we have a pretty interesting look. Yep, as you can see, very interesting text animation that we have it, maybe a little bit or you can keep it all together, depends on your personal preference. I think this looks much better. Now we have the in animation, let's create the out animation. So let's select all the layers, hit Control Shift C to pre-compose it. I'll call this text. Oh. Call this text and hit OK and I'll go to around maybe three seconds and hold Alt and close square bracket to crop the layers hit control d to duplicate it right click go to time and time reverse layer let's go just like that maybe somewhere where it starts animating in so somewhere on there hold alt and open square bracket and drag them just right over here so now we have our in animation and we have our out animation as well very simple and easy to create now, one more cool thing that you can do with this is you can create a nice reflection onto the floor. So to do that, what you can do is actually, let's hit control Y to create a new solid, call this BG for background, hit okay. And I'll use an image on the background. Let's scale this down a bit, just like so. Add a tint on this, keep it black and white. Bring down the opacity of this image to around for person very very minimal let's bring this at the bottom then select both of our text let's hit Control shift c to pre-compose them again call this animation and then hit Control d to duplicate it select the bottom text hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and just bring down to around minus let's go with actually minus 25 Okay, let's bring this just like so and then add a fast blur to this. Repeat edge pixels, increase the blur amount and there we go. 
now i can play around with the scale property depending on how much intense i want it so i'm gonna keep it something like that hit t and bring down the opacity down just a touch also what i can do is add some glow onto our main text so let's add a glow to this let's set the glow threshold to 90 percent and increase the radius really high just like so and there we have our very interesting little title animations so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this really nice simple and easy tutorial and if you did if you want me to create more tutorials focused on beginners then do let me know in the comment section below also make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative